we were going to rebuild the stepway and we did finally get it done along with some pads. So why don't you come down the steps with us, take a look at our gardens. The gardens are been cut back pretty much. They'll be cut back further as the weather gets colder. This garden is in the shade right now. Come on down the steps. And we do have things blooming still. We have a little bit of color in our garden. The strawberry jars with the hens and chicks in them will be put down on the path in the winter so that they're out of the elements and can survive to the spring. We have just a few flowers blooming. This is the pathway we put in. We started at the very bottom by the little house. Took up all the paving stones. Under them were bricks. We have a mishmash of stones because they're little bits here and there that we have accumulated from people who've had like four or five stones left. And we said, oh, we'll take them. We'll use them for something. So we've used just about everything. Yeah, the color stone all match, but you know, that's okay. I think that's called eclectic. Here's pathway in one of the gardens. The garden part was here, the pathway was not. So we kind of cleaned it up a little bit put in the pathway so that I can get in there to do the weeding. This one is the sunken garden. It was lower than the other gardens. So we named it the sunken garden, put in some steps to get down there, and put the pathway in. Now the bricks have come from all over our yard, underneath the paving stones. And when you're working on putting in a sidewalk or a pathway, you have to clean all the bricks away. So every day I'd move the bricks to another side of the yard while he worked on digging it out. And then when he got ready to work, then I'd haul all the bricks back again so he could work on getting it beautified. It's pretty good, I think. We still have a little bit of work to do, but mostly the hard stuff is done. This one was here, and we had a tree here, and this is the tree we had taken down because it died. I so saw my sign says, I tried, but it died. The next level has a cat in it. And the sign, little sign up there says cat crossing. That level was always there. It didn't actually get too much change done to it. Other than when we built the side walls, we had to kind of rearrange the walls so they met. But that was it. And right there's the sign that says cat crossing.
The next walk kind of goes to nowhere land. And yeah, the bricks were put in mainly for me for so I could get in to pull weeds. And because of roots coming up from the trees, I had no choice but to build this. So most of it is carpet lilies. In the spring, there'll be tulips, daffodils, and other spring flowers. I just put this in yesterday because another huge root came up and the lawnmower doesn't go over those roots too well. And you can see one of the roots here. So far that's okay. Yes, it's a lot of gardening to take care of. But when you're retired, who cares? I mean, if you like gardening, it's wonderful. And I do. So that's the reconstructed yard.